Hey everyone, it is Cinephile Mike, your friendly neighborhood Cinephile, here with day 65 of the 95 Days of Award Season Posts, and day 6 of the Documentary Week Plus One, with the next feature-length documentary, I'm talking about Sierra Pettengill's Riotsville, USA. <laughs> Nominated solely for Best Documentary Feature at the Independent Spirit Awards, Riotsville, USA is a chapter of our country's history during the late 1960s during the riots that were occurring throughout our country. Now, combining military footage and archived news and TV interviews and other footage and programs, Pettengill presents the ways in which our military was trained to address the rising civil unrest in the USA, as well as the police forces. To do this, the Army built two simulated towns, which were called Riotsville, on two different Army bases in the USA that were both ironically named for historical racists, where soldiers and police acted out riot conditions on, for lack of a better word, a set. It was like a Broadway show, an outdoor theater, that allowed an audience, and yes, I use that term purposefully, I'll get there, to view the ways people rioting should be dealt with, including the use of a newly formulated tear gas that was manufactured and utilized as a means of brute force at a time to control the situations, even if it meant breaking up a um, nonviolent peace rally or one of the aforementioned riots. Now, when I talked about an audience, I was referencing that before... Uh, rather, during each of the presentations, different military and police organizations were bussed in all over the country to Riotsville to see the presentations from the bleachers. And then there was actually one kind of disturbing scene where after a you know, violent show of aggression, how it was handled, everyone applauded and smiled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Now, what's interesting, while all of the footage is over 50 years old, this film is very timely, especially given recent events and reports of police brutality and wonderings about how the individuals are trained even today to address these various circumstances. It almost raises a question, do locations like Riotsville still exist and we just don't know about them? Not sure. And that is not what Pettengill is seeking to do here. She doesn't address this and whether these things still exist. She keeps her film entirely anchored in the 60s and let the film speak for itself as the piece of history. And yet it does show in all of these years that we haven't progressed as much as we think we have. By intercutting the footage, which is a unique approach, she tells a story, but unfortunately it doesn't really present too much to add to the conversation. Um... I mean, it stokes the fire to get people going. You almost at times want to scream at the TV or jump into the fray. But there isn't a lot of new layers to introduce. That and the overuse of captions to link the different parts of the story uh, unfortunately made the film feel a little bit choppy. There was a lot of incorporation of multiple captions to link the events. So at times it felt almost like watching a PowerPoint presentation instead of a film. It was just shoehorning all of the information in, and as a result, it kind of interrupts the flow. I think the footage stood on its own, and if Pettengill had given the right amount of footage and context at the beginning with the captions and then a wrap-up at the end, may have been more effective. However, as I said about the director of Midwives a few days ago, for a first-time solo filmmaking effort... Pettengill's first uh, feature length was a co-directed documentary about a Tea Party activist in 2013. She does craft an interesting film that is worth a watch. Now, I wasn't as gripped as I thought it might be. Perhaps the archival footage needed some more narration as opposed to caption. But the staged riots were interesting to see and how the military staged and captured these on film. So for me, Riotsville USA is a three out of five stars. But I will say that Pettengill is one to keep an eye on. I'm sure we're going to hear great things about her in the documentary film genre. Now, if you'd like to catch Riotsville USA, as of this post, it recently began streaming on Hulu. I rented it VOD, but it is now streaming on Hulu. But your VOD option is there if you do not have Hulu.
<laughs> I'll see everyone tomorrow for day 66 of the 95 Days of Award Season Post as we start wrapping up Documentary Week Plus One. For now, this is Cinephile Mike saying, take a break and watch something new. <laughs>